In this tutorial we're going to talk about the ROT13 cipher and how you can implement it in JavaScript. So ROT13 or Rotate13 is a simple substitution cipher whereby the input text or the plain text gets rotated or if you like shifted 13 places along the alphabet. So for example ABCD becomes NOPQ. And the reason why 13 was chosen for this particular cipher is because there's 26 letters in the English alphabet, the algorithm for encoding plain text is exactly the same as decoding the cipher text. So that's a bit of background on what ROT13 is, let's write an implementation of it in JavaScript. So most implementations of the ROT13 cipher will first off start with an input and output alphabet that you can use to look up and encode or decode plain or cipher text. This way we can analyse a string character by character, find each character's position in the input string and then simply return the character at the same position in the output string. So a simple implementation might look a little bit like this. So here we're just looping through a string character by character and as I mentioned we basically get the position of that character in the input string and once we know its position we can simply add the corresponding character from the output string to our final output text. So this has been researched and found to be one of the most computationally effective and performant ways of creating a ROT13 cipher. However if you want something a little bit more modern looking we can use some JavaScript functions to split up our input string and rotate the characters inside the string by looking at the individual character codes. So this function works by taking an input string and splitting it into its individual characters and then calling the map function on each of those items in the array that's created and basically returning a new character using the string.fromCharCode function and the char code that we're using is basically the character code as it exists already in the string and then basically we add or subtract 13 depending on whether the actual character is before the letter N in the alphabet. And then once we've done that, we simply join the array back together to get a string. And I'll probably want to put single quotes inside of that join function so that the string doesn't contain commas. So neither approach is wrong or right. So as I mentioned, the first is probably more performance and the second is a little bit neater. It's really down to your personal preference how you want to code your ROT13 implementation. 